three PowerPoint tricks to become more efficient and build slides much, much faster. Hi, my name is Johannes Niari. I'm a project manager in strategy consulting and on this channel, I want to help you to learn the necessary skills that you need for your first years in consulting. And we all know the situation, it's quite late, you had a tough day and then you get a call from the partner or the project manager or your teammate and you get a request to support with a slide. And these are exactly the times where we want to be as efficient as possible in working with PowerPoint because we just want to save precious hours to get to bed early or to do something else than work. And you probably know that in consulting we work a lot with PowerPoint because everything or almost everything we do we try to visualize it in slides because we want to show it we want to discuss it with the client so we spend hours of hours of hours in powerpoint and of course we want to become as efficient as possible in order to save time and today i want to share three tips that really help me to and still help me to work efficiently in powerpoint especially if you are a beginner you should be aware of these tips because this really helps you to save a lot of time and make a good impression at the beginning. So tip number one that I wanna share with you is that you work with guides. And if we take a look at PowerPoint, I have here a box, and let's say you wanna build a slide where you have four equally um, sized um, squares across the slide. And you know you could do that by you know just moving around here and then you see that PowerPoint has some intelligence uh, guides here in the middle but you know it's kind of you know uh, very complicated to uh, really hit these uh, kind of guys so there is a trick that you can apply and it's uh, go to right click then activate or go here to grid and guides and then you activate your guides and then you see that this kind of raster appears and this is something that you can preset in the uh, master view of your powerpoint slide so you go to view then you go to um, slide master here it is, and then you can preset these um, guides. And what I like to do typically is that I like to set up guides that I have quarters and thirds. You see all the right guides here, they mark my thirds and all the, uh, sorry, my quarters and the orange guides here, they mark my thirds. And the reason for that is that, you know, a slide is much more appealing to the human eye if elements are distributed and structured in thirds or in quarters. So this really helps me to move the square around here, to move this box around and to just, you know, align it along the um, red marks here. And then I can quickly set up a slide that is really, really well uh, equally distributed. And this is exactly what I want to do. And then I have a well-structured slide. Oops. Very, very easily. Okay, it's not perfect, but still you see what I want to do with that. And of course, this really, really helps you to build the slide much, much faster and to structure a slide much, much faster. So make it a habit to use these guides and to preset them in thirds and quarters. And this really helps you to build a slide and to build the structure of the slide much, much faster. Tip number two that I wanna give to you is that you work with shortcuts. So if we have a box, for example, again, and let's say, you know, we don't like this uh, gray font color in the blue box and we wanna change the color of the box, what we would do is we click on the box, then we go to home, then we go to shape fill, and then we can set it, let's say we set it in gray, and then maybe the font color, we set it in black. So we can do that by clicking on the menu, but you could also access that through the shortcut function. And if you click on a box and then you click on alt, then you see that this shortcut menu here opens, and then you can navigate with shortcuts through the entire PowerPoint menu. And of course, you know, this is very cool because this saves a lot of time because if I go, if I press Alt, then this menu opens, then I go to JD for shape format, and then I can go to SF for shape fill, and then I'm directly into this um, menu. I can do the same by pressing Alt, HFC, then I am in a font color menu, and I can set it in white. And of course, it takes some time at the beginning to get used to that, but you know, it helps you to become really quick because with only a few quicks, uh, clicks, you know, it becomes kind of second nature to navigate through these uh, boxes and to change colors, font sizes, oops, or um, boxes or lines much, much faster. Okay, so it takes some time at the beginning to get used to that, but you know, I'm not even thinking about 
how these shortcuts work because they become really second nature for me and this really you know saves you a lot of time so i highly recommend to you that you get used to working with these um, shortcuts as early as possible because this will save you tons and tons of hours and tip number three that i want to share with you today is that you um, set up a quick access toolbar and we talked about um, shortcuts um, in the second tip and if we want to click on alt or if we do click on alt then we also see that we can access here on the top the entire um, um, toolbox um, above but we also can access this kind of quick access toolbar and this means that you can preset some very um, uh, quick um, access shortcuts you go to file then you go to options and then there is a um, option menu where you can uh, that says um, uh, set up or access um, uh, or sorry set up a quick access toolbox or something like that and then you can set the kind of shortcuts that you want to have for this box here or for this um, uh, section here and I like to use the format painter, um, for example, uh, very often. And I could do that by just, you know, clicking on the format painter and then using that. But I have set up a shortcut that allows me to access the format painter by just clicking Alt and one. And of course, you know, this makes it very quickly to change the kind of colors and to apply the format of a different shape to another shape. And of course you can individualize that so over time you figure out what kind of shortcuts you use the most or what kind of functions you need the most and then you can individualize your quick access toolbar. So these are three tips that I want to share with you. So don't forget to use them first to set up grid lines and then work with grid lines. Second, only work with shortcuts or work with shortcuts as much as possible. And third, set up a quick access toolbox. This really, really helps you to become more efficient with PowerPoint. If you want to learn all the essential consulting skills like working with PowerPoint, Excel, uh, problem solving, communication, organization, mindset, work-life balance, then please check out the link below There you get access to my consulting preparation course that teaches you everything that you need for your first years in consulting. It doesn't matter if you have an internship and want to get the offer or if you want to have a great performance within the first six months of your consulting career, check out the link below There you get access to the course. Highly, highly recommended. And there I summarized my entire learnings about consulting skills for your first years uh, based on my own five years of experience in strategy consulting. So with that being said, if you liked the video, then please also leave a thumb up and subscribe to this channel. And I hope you have a wonderful start to the weekend. Talk to you tomorrow. Goodbye, Johannes.